The name Chios is usually synonymous with nature, quiet coves, the Greece of tourist dreams. But since last year, many associate the name with the refugee crisis. Things are quiet right now, even in the camps. But the images of clashes between police and desperate refugees are still fresh in the minds of potential visitors. And the island's tourist industry is hurting. We're seeing far fewer tourists this year. The number of travellers from abroad has fallen sharply. It's down by almost 80% compared to last year. The hotels are empty and you can hardly see any European tourists on the streets. Tourists from neighbouring Turkey are staving off a complete collapse. But even they are dwindling in number and often stay for only a few days. Local politicians know they have to polish up the island's image. But campaigns at travel industry trade fairs and cheap ferry tickets aren't enough. The deputy mayor of Kios seems at a loss. Of course, uh, we can do more, but, uh, uh, you know, all this thing is something uh, new for, not only for uh, Greece, but the, the whole Europe, I think. In the island's north, a campaign is underway called Dreaming of Kios. Antigone Maestrali and other hotel managers have asked friends and guests to share their love of the island. We're in Holland, Norway. I'm in Holland and I'm dreaming of Chios. I'm dreaming of Chios, of all those beautiful sunny beaches. I'm in Glasgow. The main purpose was to give a good picture, a nice uh, shot and um, uh, good views of the island because a picture is a thousand of words. Bookings at Maestrali's family-owned boutique hotel are also 50% down on last year. To make matters worse, the government has raised the country's sales tax and imposed levies on alcohol and other products. It's a double whammy for the young hotel manager. We have the taxes, but we don't give it to the guests. But this is not good for us. The campaign will continue through the summer, hopefully luring European tourists back to this holiday haven.